Step 1. Fill a kettle with water and put on to boil. Step 2. Rinse the uh, bamboo uh, baskets under cold water. Getting good and wet. Including the lid. And leave to drain. Step three, line the uh, baskets with um, parchment paper, cut to fit. Paper should fit like so. Step four, and place the frozen dim sum in the basket. Arrange in a single layer with space around each item. Don't crowd as some dim sum swell during steaming and the steam must be allowed to circulate through the space as well as rise up to the layer above. If mixing types of dim sum in a basket, select types that take the same length of time to cook. Take a, a sharp knife and cut through the uh, parchment paper down into the uh, uh, slats between the uh, the layers. This is to allow the steam to come up um, from below and allow the uh, juices and what have you uh, to flow down into the pot uh, down below. This is easier than trying to punch little holes uh, in the paper before you actually uh, put it uh, into uh, the uh, basket. Step six. Select a saucepan that's uh, large enough to contain the trivet, but not much larger. Just uh, position the trivet like so. Step seven, place the uh, saucepan on the stove, turn the stove to high heat and fill the uh, pot with uh, boiling water from the kettle until the water level is three to four millimeters higher than the, than the top of the uh, trivet. You don't want to overfill it here. So just like so. Step eight, stack the baskets, putting the dim sum that's going to take the longest time to cook in the bottom layer and the shortest time to cook in the top layer. And once you've got them stacked, put the lid on and make sure it's uh, firmly in place. Step nine, when the water is boiling, uh, place the uh, dim sum baskets in the boiling water. Make sure that the uh, boiling water is three to four millimeters up the side of the baskets. Uh, the point here is to make sure that the water as it boils underneath the baskets, the steam from that is gonna be forced up through the stack of the baskets and not just sort of billow out the sides um, because there's no seal. During cooking, um, you're going to have a situation where uh, the water will need to be refreshed. So put the kettle back on and boil about half a kettle so that you can top up the water and maintain that three to four uh, millimeters of uh, clearance. Step 10, uh, once you've uh, got the uh, baskets in place, uh, set the timers. For instance, if you've got hargao in the top basket for 15 minutes, and the bottom basket's got sumai, which takes 18 minutes. You set the timers for 15 and 18 minutes. Alexa, set timer 18 minutes. 18 minutes, starting now. Alexa, set timer 15 minutes. Second timer, 15 minutes, starting now. Step 11, uh, during cooking, monitor the water level and as it begins to drop and you don't have that seal at the bottom of the baskets, just add more boiling water uh, from the kettle. If you add cold water, it's going to take your uh, pot off the boil and that is going to defeat the whole process of uh, timing uh, the, the uh, steamed uh, process, okay? Step 12. When the uh, timer for the top basket expires, carefully lift the lid off the pot away from you so you don't get blasted by the steam and then lift out the top uh, basket put it on a plate 
and replace the uh, lid so that the stuff in the bottom tray can continue to cook. Be careful to pat it down properly. Repeat the process when the uh, timer for the lower basket expires and then move the uh, pot off the stove and get rid of the boiling water before it causes damage in the kitchen.